guys, I can't even do an actual raw review tonight. I can't. You know, I've been watching WWE my entire life. <laughs> Raised on it. Hulk Hogan, The Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret Hart, all the way up till now, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, you name it, I've seen them every era. I've seen almost every single episode of Monday Night Raw since it's been produced. Starting back in January of 1993. Parents, Dad, sit me down, have Monday Night Raw on. Every single Monday night. When Fox took over SmackDown, everybody knew that it was going to become the A show by superstars, pretty much by ride well, pretty much by riding because of the superstars that it had. They were going to have to become. They were going to have to. Uh, 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 make the best writing so people would tune in because people weren't going to tune in and if the superstars had lousy writing they were going to have to have uh, a great uh, uh, opening and, and, and great pyro and, and things of that nature but nobody absolutely nobody Coming from this podcaster's perspective, this wrestling fan's perspective of over 30 years would have thought that Monday Night Raw would have been sabotaged by a Vince McMahon himself. Jeez. Or by USA, NBC Universal. Once the draft and the brand split. And when I say the brand split and the draft, 100% came into effect. But it did. Tonight was a prime example of it. Now, when I say this, I'm not saying everything was horrible tonight. They did a, 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 an okay showcasing some superstars. The Viking Raiders, they showcased them. However, at the expense of making Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins look like absolute losers... They did an okay, uh, they did a pretty good job showcasing uh, Andrade seeing Almas, or Andrade, when he defeated Sin Cara. That was a pretty good matchup. But on the other hand, you had uh, Humberto uh, Carrillo, uh, taking on Seth Rollins in uh, Humberto's first matchup on Monday Night Raw, in which WWE, in the headset, in the gorilla position, trying to make out like it was some spectacular, fantastic, awesome matchup, and in which instead, in, in my eyes, what we saw was Seth Rollins destroying this this uh this superstar and 
a fashion where we were just supposed to see that, well, he had a lot of heart, and that's why he kept on kicking out. We didn't see the superstar give uh, do a whole lot of moves outside of the opening of the match. Now, we did see uh, Paul Heyman put together a nice little package of Andrade, of Aleister Black, and I forget who else that was in it. There was one other superstar that was in it. AOP was showcased in their same uh, promo with just a, a different, uh, they were different interview, but they were in the same light. I enjoyed it. I'm ready for them to be on the roster and, and, and in this uh, new entrance and things of that nature to see what they uh, bring to the table. But in all, Monday Night Raw didn't give us squat tonight. And all, WWE kind of sabotaged Monday Night Raw. Look what FS1 is bringing to us. Uh, Friday. A Firefly Funhouse. Wasn't it burnt down last Monday? Number one, does that make any sense at all? No. Absolutely not. Number two. Why? Why? To get off that subject, because I am just not going to talk any more about Bray Wyatt and Monday Night Raw until next week when I go over the preview and predictions of Crown Jewel. But number two, why? Do we have to hear from Paul Heyman tonight? I'm wondering why WWE had to kill the draft. There's no sense in it. None. You could have easily had Rey Mysterio just come out there and, and cut the promo and Shelton Benjamin uh, 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 just say something and, and, and hit him. And if you want Kane Flyers to come out and save the day, that's fine too. He was never drafted to either one of those uh, spots. Raw or SmackDown. Paul Heyman, forget about it. Forget about it. If Brock Lesnar was drafted to SmackDown, Paul Heyman should just go with him. Forget about the draft. Forget about the brand split. Yeah, it's hard for me to do a full-fledged review on, on on this show tonight, wrestling fans. I've pretty much, if you want to know the truth, done it already. There's uh, uh, nothing uh, that I have not covered already. In a nutshell, I... 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 I, I they made us wait until the right at the 10 o'clock hour, right as Raw was going off the air, to see Kevin Owens, Stone Cold Stunner, AJ Styles. Okay. SmackDown, please give us a better show this Friday. I'll be tuning in. Uh, I'll have something for you later on this week. 
Go back and watch anything you've missed. I'm getting out of here. Till I see you again. Catch you on the other side.